I mean, it, it was nothing like secondary school. I mean, and they, they sort of, you know, you'd hear teachers and, you know, older people who have left school, you know, tell you that, you know, there there's no prefix to tell you to wake up early. There's no yeah. teachers to, you know, come and breathe down your neck to study. There's no prep, you know. So you are, like, you go from, like, confinement to, like, you are bombarded with the freedom. Like, it's like mm-hmm. an overload mm-hmm. of, freedom. of freedom. And that's where people, I feel like people get lost because, mm. you know, because you know you like a caged animal you set them loose you know they'll, they'll go haywire mm. so if you didn't have which i which is why i said you know you need a grounding force mm. and if you didn't have that grounding force you would you'd mess up mess pretty up. pretty easily wow right because nobody was going to tell you to study mm-hmm. um if you were in a course if i mean i think the sciences always had it in the back of their heads that you know if i don't study i will fail my my exams but for for we in the arts a lot of us were, you know, pushed by, you know, oh, his passion is, I'm sort of like, I do this kind of well, so I can, I can, you know. I can sail through. I can sail through, fine. And then you get in and then you realize that, Charlie, it's cause, especially with English, right? I, I was shocked at the amount of learning I had to do. <laughs> like cramming everything we had to study in it within a year was, was crazy. And so you, you need to, you need to have entered and have understood that you know this is it's up to me to make sure that i navigate these things well otherwise the freedom can cost you it would it would take you off 